Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, let's jump right into it. This is a weekly watch list for July 6th, 2020. So the first stock that we have here is SPY, the daily chart okay so last week i was kind of saying hey we actually had potential uh, divergence or sorry um downward momentum if we draw the fibonacci retracement okay from high to low and we actually had a little bit of down move but then bounced off the 200 period moving average and as you could see we're now starting to curl up right if you guys follow my uh stair step trade or the waterfall you see one two three four five and then we reverse to the upside okay so this is on the daily nice double bottom with a support underneath which is one one hit two three Four, so we're now four hits on this 200 period. If we come back down, maybe watch out below because every time we come down, it's, it should get weaker and weaker, right? Or you could look at it as it gets stronger and stronger, but eventually it will break below. Um, so with that being said, these are still the levels to watch the 38, 50, 61%. If we do roll over because we have a high here, right? And the low, we still haven't made a new high yet. Now let's look at the weekly. Okay. Remember last week we were talking about the bearish engulfment at the high, right? This candle engulfed this entire previous candle and we had the waterfall one, two, three. Well, guess what? This week we actually made a new high. So the market went from on the weekly time frame from being bearish to actually bullish again. Um, so that's why you have to be real flexible and be able to turn on the dime. So right now, as it stands, we are making higher lows. One, two, three, right? Um, if you actually look at this, we actually engulfed this candle. We probably opened, went lower, reversed and went higher because when we look at the daily chart we can actually see for the last few days we've been going higher so to me as just reading what the chart tells me this to me looks like a potential breakout of a bull flag draw the trend line up there duplicate bring it to the bottom here's our flag and then here would be our flag pole so if we zoom out, this is what we're looking at with a potential breakout to new highs coming in the next week or so. Um, that's what the charts are telling us. Now, what levels could we watch to the upside? Well, let's grab our Fibonacci extension tool, go from the lowest peak to the highest peak here, and then right back down. And these are the levels to be watching for resistance on the upside. So if we do make new highs, watch the 127, 1618, and then the 200 for potential resistance levels. That is 331 on SPY, three, we'll round this off to 341, and then 351, okay? Remember, all-time highs of SPY were right around this what were they uh the 340 level okay and look at where the 1618 is 341 so we're right there so i would probably target if you want to get long potentially ride this reverse waterfall to the upside just keep moving your stop below the prior day's low because on the weekly and daily we are actually in an uptrend so maybe keep riding this up and look for that 340 uh, level, which would be uh, right around all time highs. So hopefully that helps and that is for SPY. And the market does look bullish. I know the economy looks bearish, but the market and the economy are two totally different things, okay? So don't think because the economy 
is hurting, we have 10, 15% unemployment that the market has to go lower. It could disconnect like it's doing now. So uh, next stock I wanna look at is Tesla. Tesla is breaking out of this 1000 level. Okay, we could kind of just draw a basic trend line right across, right? Kind of broke out, broke out, pulled back, we're retesting a nice nice bounce to make new highs, okay? Um, on this, we're up at 12.08 on Tesla, which is crazy. If you actually looked at my video at the very beginning of the year, I actually said, watch for a potential breakout, um, but I never knew we'd be going to these levels um, so quickly. So where could price go? for right now, maybe in the next week or two. So we do have a gap around this 1117 level right here, okay, 1120 level. Um, maybe we start to backfill and fill that gap eventually, but all we really need to do is come over here, we'll get rid of this line, clean up the chart, grab our Fibonacci extension tool, and just go from this high to we will use this high right back here because that was kind of our previous high all the way back down to the low. And look at that, we came right to the 127 and paused. Now we're breaking out. My next level would be 1350 on Tesla. Um, so if you are long, maybe look for that as a level to take profits. Um, the other side of it is if we come back down, maybe look to get long at that 127 level, which again, we have the gap around 1120. So 11, between 1120 and 1130 to 40, somewhere in that $20 range, look to get long for a potential pullback fill the gap, and then bounce higher up to this 1350 level. And then eventually, the ultimate target is this 200 period level, which is at 1589. So we'll just say 1600 um, would be the ultimate target from this breakout of this entire move to the upside. So those are the levels to watch for Tesla. Next, let's look at Facebook. Uh, last week I said watch uh, face, Facebook for potential bearish move, right? Um, because there was this divergence that we saw and here was that bearish move, right? Um, what was it, Sunday or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm recording this on Friday, uh, July 3rd. So uh, there's no no trading today. So we actually did kind of flush everybody down to that 207 level, which was the 1618 and also right around that 138 level of this entire move. So we had confluence there and nice bounce off this. Where do we go from here? Maybe go up a little higher. This is what I'm potentially thinking. Go a little higher, okay? Retest this high, pull back to maybe this 25 level and create a nice inverse head and shoulders. Here's our shoulder right here, our head, and then maybe pull back, create the right shoulder, and then take off from there to the upside, okay? Um, let's clean up this chart to give you guys levels to the upside. If this does break out, all I'm gonna use is the highest peak to the lowest peak, and then back, or lowest to highest and back down. And these are the levels I would be looking for if you're long. Also kind of nice support around the 200 with a reverse of a trend. I'd be looking at the 255 level, 268, 269 level, and then the 200% is the 283 level. These are levels if you are long, maybe look to lighten up part of the position or to take profits. If you're looking for a potential day trade scalp, look to maybe short these potential levels.
So next, uh, that is Facebook. And then the next one we have is Google L. Okay, or Google. Look at Google. <clears throat> nice breakout potential here. But one of the problems that we have on this breakout is we did not close above on the bar. We looked above and potential fail. But the RSI looks strong. Again, if the market looks like it's going to make new highs, chances are Google will keep going higher. So potential long, you could just use maybe uh, the pre previous day's low is an exit if you want to jump in this. But as far as levels to the upside, um, I'm actually more bullish because I'm bullish more on the overall market. So I'm going to just use from here to here to get our levels and look to see if there's any confluence. Well, look at this. Prior all-time highs were 15.30. The 127s at 1514, right? So somewhere around there, we might actually have the first target. We might go up to 1557, and then ultimate target would be 1605 if the market keeps making new highs. So these are levels. I'm kind of bullish on this. Again, we can look at this, draw a couple trend lines, bull flag, right? Right here. And then we could almost say this is our entire flag pull, right? Flag pull up sideways, breaking out to the upside. So. These are the uh, trades that we're looking at uh, for this week, July 14th or July 6th. Um, have a happy uh, 4th of July to everybody out there. Thank you as always for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave comments and also make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Thank you.